I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who help support the channel. Also, I want to say thank you to my Twitch subscribers. Help the channel out by donating or go to Patreon.com. Thank you. I have done a number of videos talking about this current dumb fuck that I'm working on um, that I, I've talked about before. And he has miraculously like miraculously been like one of the most racist gave him one of the most racist depictions of Chicago I've seen somebody actually give and um I just feel like this is <laughs> I just feel like this is gonna be another depiction of just dumb fuckery and racist just like tropes and shit so um let's see Let's see what the fuck that um, Nick Johnson says about 10 reasons why you should never move to Chicago. So shall we? Shall we? They wanted to. I feel like I'm echoing. Hold on. That's what. That's what's going on. There we go. No. Let's go. In case you haven't heard, Chicago really isn't that great anymore. In fact, according to recently released... Oh, let's start it over from the beginning. I ate, obviously, when I tried to stop it. All right, let's go. Everybody wants to move to Chicago. Or at least, wanted to. In case you haven't heard, Chicago really isn't that great anymore. In fact, according to recently released census data, more and more people are leaving Chicago. I... 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 You dumb fuck. A lot of people are just moving from big cities. You dumb fuck. What the fuck, man? Like, why did... I know conservatives only take selected facts. And the selected facts, if it doesn't fit their narrative, then they have a fucking issue. But goddamn, like, that's a ton of selected facts. But all right, let's go. They're moving into the suburbs, into smaller towns, or likely leaving the state of Illinois completely. Because sadly, this once proud city is kind of crummy now. It's not... What's I I know you guys can't really see it, but he says the once proud city of Chicago is crummy now. Let me move that right here and just move the camera just a little bit. He says the once proud city is crummy now, and he has the yes, yeah, so we're, we're gonna put it right along the Chicago theater sign. Crummy, yeah, sure. Let's go, dog. Let's go. Not the same place it was a decade ago, and far from the proud city it was a century ago. A lot of the people who live here defend Chicago just for the sake of defending Chicago. And if you have to try to convince people your city's great, then perhaps something's wrong. Motherfucker, what city are you from? I, I just can't, I don't understand that. Like, what city are you from? What city are you fucking defending? And it ain't about a whataboutism, which it does sound like it's about a whataboutism. But what city are you from? What critique, what... What scale are you actually doing your critique from? What judgment, what yardstick are you do using your critique from? What perspective, because I'm doing art. There's a lot of reasons why people are leaving Chicago, and there's a lot of reasons why you should move there yourself. So the next time you think about moving somewhere else, skip this place, because Chicago's not what it was cracked up to be. I hate to do this, but, uh... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you vicky <laughs> wait okay ga has it ga has it properly like yeah no black folks took over chicago like it hasn't always been what people call the chocolate city next thing he's gonna be claiming that atlanta did the same thing but let's go chicago a city which went from a swampy, remote frontier town to a booming, bustling, explosive center of the Midwest. Innovation, ingenuity, determination, and sheer ruthlessness ruled the day. Immigrants flocked here for opportunity. It was a city to be admired. Wait, is, are you upset because the immigrants flocked here? Is that what it is? Immigrants came to Chicago? Because we actually have... A, Chicago is a diverse city, but it is a very segregated city. I'm not going to lie. Um, we have a lot of Polish people here. We have a lot... Um, um, so some Italian people, obviously we have a Chinatown, um, we have, um, 
uh, a lot of African Americans, both that came in that was around the founding and came from the Great Migration North. Like we we have a diverse set of people. We have parts of our city who um, were a lot of workers and shit like that. But yeah, but let's go. Now, a lot of populations the exact opposite of that. Many residents expect handouts, and those who can't get their way politically will take it with force or coercion. I'm sorry. When the fuck does this happen? What, wait. When the fuck does this happen? What? See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Dumb fucks like this. He. What is he talking about? Uh, okay. Yeah. No. For real. It, it is actually more segregated. But Animals are innocent. Don't be species. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Thank you. But let's go. Chicago is such a bad place to live now that the rest of the state doesn't want to live there. You ask people downstate what they think of Chicago and they'll roll their eyes. I'd rather live in my podunk little struggling community 100 miles away, they'll say, than deal with the BS that comes with living in Chicago. Yeah, but they don't want to get rid of the Chicago tax base. Like, like, n don't get me wrong. There are people in the southern part of Illinois and central part of Illinois and western part of Illinois that's just like, no, nah, we don't like Chicago. But they don't want to get rid of the tax base. That's the problem. They don't want to get rid of the tax base. And the people around the suburbs, they don't want to get rid of Chicago because it helps Illinois. It is a reason why, yes, Ill Chicago dominates the local fucking area. It dominates the, it dominates the, not only the Chicago, Illinois area, but Northwest Indiana and part of, um, South, um, Southwest, uh, blah, Southwest Michigan. We are, and I know I did a, um, I know I did a, um, a map of it. I know I did a map of it where the Chicagoland broadcast area like dictates a lot of what happens and i'm sorry it's because it's a hub it is a hub city and oh yeah people are leaving but that's just a marked difference of people are leaving to feel other parts of the country not because chicago is bad but because quite frankly the rents are fucking high in all major cities and when people travel and go to other smaller cities guess what happens to those other places but again i'm i'm not letting him do his thing but let's go so hey chicago in case you didn't know the rest of the state doesn't like you very much why they're paying a lot of taxes because of you chicago only makes up 20 percent of the entire state's population but the rest of the state is a lot less wealthy because of chicago there's a reason Illinois is the least tax-friendly state in the nation, as property taxes here are enough to keep homeowners far less comfortable than their Midwest neighbors. For a $400,000 home in Chicago, property taxes alone are close to ten grand, and they're always looking for reasons to raise more taxes. Luxury taxes, dining taxes, congestion taxes, ride-hailing taxes. At least they got rid of the soda tax. I mean, like, my man is like... How do I say this? The most unflavorable person in the world. I'm just saying. And he talks like it too. My man is just the most unflaked. This is if text to speech came to life. I'm sorry. This is this is text to speech per the person. But let's go. Yes. Sales taxes are also the highest in the nation too. A 10% rate for most retail purchases in the city. Chicagoans pay the city 1.25%, the county 1.75%, the transit authority 1%, and the state 6.25%. And Wait, now, one of these things are not like the other. Go back and watch this shit. Let's go. Watch. Percent, the county 1.75%, the transit... What transit tax? You dumb fuck, what transit tax? N no, okay. <sighs> authority 1% and the state 6.25% and expect that number to grow people Chicago alone is one reason Illinois is one of the fastest shrinking states the state has struggled to keep residents since the 1970s as more people are leaving than staying and up until a couple years ago Chicago proper was still growing but now the nation's third largest city is shrinking too look at this map 
Green is population increase. Pink is population decrease. As you can see, the shrinking part is growing. Now, mind you, he went, if you go back and actually look at it, he went and he talked about how Chicago is, is, is shrinking, but he saw major years of Chicago actually growing. Saw major years of Chicago actually growing. And now it's shrinking. It's almost as, a, as if it's an ebb and flow of people moving in and out of the city. But, of course, a motherfucker like him won't... Because it's just a hit piece on Chicago. And he has actually has issues with Illinois altogether. But, yeah, let's let's go to this MAGA... Because he's a MAGA guy. We saw that in the last video I did about him. He's a MAGA guy. There's a Facebook page called Escaping Illinois with 46,000 followers where people vent about me the same things we're talking about right now. No wonder a lot of people in Chicago drink a lot. Win the lottery, good luck being paid. What city is he from? The fuck? Like, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. You might get an IOU in the mail for that winning ticket. The state has a budget shortfall, in case you didn't know. It's all enough to drive out middle class families who want safety and affordability out of Chicago. He, that's a lot of words for trying to say white people. I'm, I'm just saying, middle class families who trying to afford, that's a lot of words for trying to just say white people. Just say that, you dumb fuck. I, okay, let's go. Oh, God, let's go. Chicago into places like Omaha, Nebraska, or even Des Moines, Iowa. And lower class residents are leaving for smaller nearby communities. Take I mean, like, again, you, instead of saying lower class, just just say black people. That's, that's, that's what the fuck you showing, dude. Like, I don't like accusing people of being racist after only watching one or two of their videos. But I've watched, like, two or three of his videos. Even those I haven't put out there. Yeah, sure their criminal and drug habits with them which is another reason the rest of the states mad at chicago they're inheriting your problems it's the chicago way that's just the way it's always been in the windy city corruption's pretty much in chicago's dna higher ups think they're being creative at thwarting laws regular citizens say chicago's leaders are breaking them they call it crook county for a reason after all wikipedia has no nobody calls it crook county you dumb fuck. You are just pulling this out of your ass. I live in Chicago. I've lived in the Chicago area all my life. Even when I lived in the suburbs. You dumb fuck. You're just doing a hit piece because your dad at Trump just hated Chicago because Barack Obama. I'm sorry. I'm just All right. Has an entire entry about the corruption here. Studies have reported that Chicago and Crook County's judicial district have recorded more than 1,700 public corrupt convictions. And that's just since 1976. They didn't even compile corruption statistics before that. Six Illinois governors have been convicted of crimes, and four actually served time in the last 50 years. Who needs term limits in Chicago? Just wait for them to leave office against their will. So Chicago is undoubtedly the most... Wait, what does a governor have to do with the actual city? You're making a category error, dude. What does a governor have to do with the actual city? I Come on now. Come the fuck on. Okay, let's go. Corrupt city in the nation with corruption costs of about $500 million a year. It's not only politicians, it's church officials, police officers, contractors, lobbyists, unions, teachers, actors, and probably even little league. Oh, he had to throw that in, didn't he? I, like... I, what, what, what's up, what's up, Bill? I just, I just, I don't get this part. It, yeah, it's very racist. It's just, like, this is just very racist. And it's just like, ha, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Okay. All right, let's go. Big umpires. It's been said that a couple of politicians getting together in Chicago is now a crime scene. Holy cow! Uh-oh, Chicago, check this out. When they're comparing you to Detroit, Illinois residents, many of them, Chicago residents. Oh, two racism for the price of one. Like, what the fuck? Okay, all right. All right, all right, thank you. Okay. Residents are more dependent on food stamps than any other neighboring state. And of our nation's 10 largest states, only Pennsylvania outranks Illinois, just barely, for SNAP benefits. Okay, so
the fact that you're saying that SNAP benefits are what you hear in the state, again, not Chicago, but what you're here in the state. Again, you're making two category errors, dude, because you're talking about state and you want to switch it to Chicago. Again, if you find out that most of the SNAP benefits are outside of Chicago, outside the city proper, are you going to have an issue then? Are you going to go back and say, oh, I'm wrong then? No, you're not. You just want to place the blame that, oh, it's Chicago and something wrong with Chicago. And of course, we know what your something wrong is. But again, yeah, of course we know red states have more crime. I did that video that I did with Tupper Mill, where he was talking. Where uh, we were talking about um, what was it, Alabama or, or Mississippi? I think it was it was it was it was Mississippi, and it's just like we know what the fuck is going on. We know. Why are you acting as if it's not just racially motivated? It's not just a conservative hit piece about a state that Donald Trump, nobody likes Donald Trump in. But yeah, sure. And by the way, this video is two years old and I had been meant to cover it, but I just haven't. But let's continue. 15% of Chicago residents get food and other government assistance. Now, a certain percent of the population should get some assistance, but in Chicago, it's becoming generational assistance and it's draining the city's budget. That's just another reason that Chicago ranks next to last of all major cities when it comes to fiscal health. While handouts are all the rage here and lower class citizens continue to get payouts and assistance. Again, what, what, you just want to say black people. I'm just saying, you, you want to just say black people, just say black people, dude. It's fine. Um, but where are you getting that study? Like, I, I want to see, see this shit about cropping this shit out. Where are you getting that out? Where are you getting that from? So what was the headline? Study of, uh, I type 78 when I was supposed to type 75. 75 largest cities. Let's see if we. Fiscal health. Yeah, I didn't type it right. Where did this come from? Oh, Chicago Sun-Times. And when did this happen? Twenty January of 2020. Wow, I wonder what was happening around then. Um, Moody's investors have, rent, have already ranked Chicago and Detroit as the city's least prepared to weather a storm of another recession of extraordinary high fixed costs and crushing pension obligations. Up, I guess Moody's can't see the future because Chicago hasn't been crushed. Hmm. And a rating agency whose top priority is to make sure cities don't have any sort of debt and not give anything to their citizens. Is is saying that yeah, Chicago needs to like not take care of its citizens. I wonder why. I wonder fucking why. But anyway, let's let's have him continue. Fiscal health. While handouts are all the rage here, and lower class citizens continue to get payouts and assistance, retirement obligations and pensions are diminished, as are health care benefits. So the working class is paying for the lower class, and as a result, the city's broke, which means higher taxes, which. I, I just can't get over this. Like, who does he think the working class is? 
I don't I don't get who does he think the working class is. It it's almost as if like that dog whistle is is inhuman now. Like the fuck. But all right, let's go. Which means people are gonna leave. Which means a lower tax base. Which means more budget shortfalls and eventually lower home prices. The blue line is Chicago. Face it, Chicago's a mess financially. It has debts estimated at thirty-four billion. That's thirty-seven thousand dollars for every taxpayer. This chart says it all, and you might want to pause the video to look at it closely, because we're moving on. All right. So, fast fact, Chicago. Why did he cut off the shit on the side? And, oh, okay, so fast fact, Chicago has 10 billions and available to pay uh, 45.1 billion. It's called a city, dog. The outcome uh, um, the outcome is 34 billion shortfall which breaks down to a burden of 34 um of 70 37 thousand dollars per taxpayer Did, that's so bonds which don't mature at the same rate debt related to capital expenses unfunded pension benefits unfunded retiree benefits health benefits i don't know it seems like a lot of that shit can actually be resolved with maybe i don't know stop giving rich fucks tax breaks for moving to chicago hello united how about a lot of this shit can be funded by not giving amazon a tax breaks by living in chicago and as vicky says Taxes are the price we pay for civilizations. <laughs> but I will have to call bullshit on that second part of that phrase. Republicans hate poor people. And because they kind of associate all poor people with black people. But we're not going to get into that right now because, of course, he's being racist. But we're let's go. Let's go. Boy, it is crowded here, mister. Chicago's traffic is certainly no joke. It's actually now the second worst in the nation. Wait, if if people are leaving Chicago and nobody wants to live in Chicago, why is there traffic then? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, let's go. Where drivers wasted 145 hours in traffic last year, only Boston had worse traffic. And apparently being stuck in traffic costs the average Chicago commuter more than two grand every year in lost time, likely on the Dan Ryan. Apparently part of the... Why did you just say Dan Ryan? There are more than... there. The Dan Ryan is only the southern end of the Chicago highway system, the 9094. Did he say the Kennedy? No. Did he say that is the same 9094? No. He said the Dan Ryan. He said the Dan Ryan. If you've ever lived in Chicago, if you ever lived in Chicago, you would know that Dan Ryan is where the black people live. Like, it's south of the city, and it goes into the predominantly African American neighborhoods. Why didn't he just say, why didn't he say the Eisenhower? But no, he had to say the Dan Ryan. Why didn't he say the fucking, um, the, um, um, fuck. Um, the 55. No, he said to Dan Ryan. We know where you at, dog, but let's go. The problem here has been the popularity of ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft, which have shifted the transportation patterns from subways and taxis to one-at-a-time rides. And half of... Well, then, you have a problem with Uber and Lyft, like everybody else in the, in the fucking country. Oh, all right, let's go, let's go. All commutes within Chicago are less than three miles. Part of that's because of the crummy weather according to the no all right no no fuck I, I look if you don't like cold weather yeah stay the fuck out of chicago i will tell you that i don't like cold weather i look the cold weather is fucking unbelievable and because of climate change like we're gonna get more fucking cold weather more polar vortexes and all that other good shit but like yeah no i i will i will die on that hill in the winter the fucking weather is fucked, but let's let's let him talk. OAA, Chicago has 189 total days of sun, which is close to every other day. 
But the problem is, a lot of the cloudy days are bunched into one long stretch, from November to March. You hardly see the sun here from late fall into early spring. Winters here are long and brutal, at least most years, although the year that just passed was relatively tame. But remember the polar vortex from 2019 when it was minus 21? Or the famous stranded on lakeshore drive moment from 2011 when people were stranded for 12 hours? It's a long, miserable time, winter is in Chicago. And I, I can't argue with this. I can't argue with this point because, yeah, no. Winter in Chicago make or break you. Most of the time break you. I can't argue with this point. If there is one thing in Chicago that I fucking hate, that I'm glad I'm working from home is because winter. Chicago, people start to change emotionally right around March when they've had enough of it. When you clean off your parking spot and put a couch there, and then your neighbor moves your couch and parks there himself. No, nobody puts a couch. No, Nobody puts a couch. And this is the shit. Like, ironically, that bullshit that Kanye West said the other day is like, this, this is what they hang their hats on. And this is another reason why fucking um, people like him hate um, Chicago. Because if you can see the license plate, it says Rahm Emanuel. It says Rahm as in Rahm Emanuel. And yeah, no, that's that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. People hate Rahm Emanuel. I hate Rahm Emanuel. Um, like we're all hate Rahm Emanuel. Uh, but like, yeah, OK, so the fuck what? Hate a lot of politicians, but let's go. Let's go. Self. Well, that's enough to make a man lose his mind. But you can just put on layers, right? Every time we lose the sun, girl, I turn around and cry. I ask myself, why, oh, why? No, stop. Just stop. I see, you must understand. The skies, they are not always blue. It'll be gone in November. I did not know my screen string was freezing. Um, let's do this. That should be better. <laughs> Am I still connected? That, that should be better. Let, let's go. Of course, we can't talk about Chicago without talking about the crime here. Oh, uh, here we go. Here the fuck we go. Hold on, guys. I want to actually do something. I know I'm streaming on Discord. I think I'm going to just stop streaming on Discord. That's probably eating up my bandwidth. Um, That shit... They, they, all right. That should actually help. That should actually help. All right, cool. We're back. All right, we're back. I know this sucks. I'm probably gonna cut this part out the stream. All right, we should be back. Um, yes, we should be back. Come on back. All right, it looks like we back. I'm connected again. Yay, I'm back. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so sorry about that. Was able to get shit cut, kicked back up. Okay, cool. All right, let's 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 get back. All right, let's go. Um, when we last left off, yay. When we last left off, let let's do this. We, he kept talking about this bullshit. How does Chicago rank in terms of crime? Not good. Sure, a lot of the crime happens in specific pockets, like the South Side, but overall, it's pretty bad here. Oh, he's just coming off the back just saying it. <coughs> Damn. He's just coming off the back saying it. I thought he was going to have a little bit more um, 
a little bit just a, a little bit more um weight to that but let's go can't talk about chicago without talking about the crime here how does chicago rank in terms of crime not good sure a lot of the crime come to chicago to full stay because you got murdered oh god this is just okay let's let's go let's hear it happens in specific pockets like the south side but overall it's pretty bad here per capita it's not the worst actually anymore what it, it wasn't the worst before anyway like really dog really you know per capita chicago actually has a lower crime rate than a lot of these red cities and towns right i how how do people just like not see this shit all right let's go while chicago's murder rate is far from the highest in the nation it does lead the u.s in total number of murders here's a map which shows where most of the crime in what year dude what year like that and this is the shit that I'm talking about. It's just like you say it is the murder rate. You have a lot of people in one area, and you think there's not gonna be just be a lot of people that's not upset about shit. Okay, all right, let's go. Crime happens. That's a lot of dots. Now a while ago. So again, you just put the shit up and not giving any numbers like what's the numbers what numbers do is it actually on this on, on the system like really like what numbers because it doesn't seem like you're putting up any numbers dog it just seems like you want to say crime because reasons and then he puts up oh especially on the south side like again the most poverty stricken areas has the highest crime i don't see where the problem is with that unless you're trying to make some other kind of correlation but let's continue so chicago finally demolished large urban centers where gangs lived and thrived large parts of chicago housing authority's infamous towers like cabrini green were raised which scattered the gang activity that helped but the problem here is far from over as mindless killings make parts of the city inaccessible for just about everyone hopefully crime continues to go down in chicago Again, it just seems like he's want to say you do you you doing a lot of way of saying black people. I'm like you, that's a lot of words for black people, dude. But let's go. Chicago is not great. If you drove all around, that's what they would say. Drive downstate and ask everyone else. They would tell you that Chicago is a joke. Forbes called Chicago the fourth most miserable city in the country not too long ago citing many of the things we've talked about or will talk about in this video. Besides the weather and the cost of living and the lack of real progress, Chicagoites aren't the healthiest people. Maybe it's the food? Chicagoans have a pretty- This is just playing all the tropes, huh? This is playing all the tropes. I see this is playing all the tropes. Uh, all right, let's, let's go. Pretty bad diet. A lot of deep dish, beer, Italian beef, hot dogs and brats with or without ketchup. They eat them by the foot here. Or is it the pollution? It's the 18th most polluted city in the country. Or maybe, perhaps... Wait. Wait. What does Chicago have? What does the government or the people have anything to do with the pollution? That sounds like a company problem. That sounds like companies are actually polluting Chicago in a horrible different ways. Or like when the steel mills were here, they just dump lead and shit in the motherfucking ground and it's not just chicago it's everywhere the steel mills were they dump toxic metals into the ground i of, of course of course fuckers like this okay sure outside of the lake there really isn't a lot of nature here mountains creeks pastures you have to drive pretty far to experience nature unless you want this sure diversity is a good thing Having a lot of culture means you're exposed to a variety of food and music and points. He is not about to do. He's not about to do what I think he is, right? He's not about to do what I think he is, right? No, he's not about to do what I think he is. All right, let's go. It's a view, but the culture shifts so dramatically here. The city's kind of fractured. All these diverse neighborhoods make the city seem so fragmented. It's a big city, so it's understandable that you can go weeks without bumping into a friendly face. But the cold reality of Chicago is... 
Wait, what do you mean you can go weeks without bumping into a friendly face? What the fuck does he actually mean? I... Wow, I... Oh, wow. That, that is... <sighs> okay, let's see what he means by friendly face. Is that while people aren't snobs, they certainly aren't Midwest nice either. Diversity could be good, theoretically, except studies have shown that the most diverse cities are also the most segregated. Chicago ranks as the seventh most diverse city in the country, but it's also the most segregated, and it's not even close. Diverse neighborhoods make the whole city seem so fragmented. Of course, Chicago tries to develop a kinship around their sports teams. 43-yard attempt. We'll see if the Eagles want to take that time out. And, oh, he hits the upright again! That's impossible! Again, like, what does the sports team have anything to do in the age of, in the age of motherfucking, um, just in the age of, I don't know, where you can actually look at teams across the, across the country and across the globe. What does a sports team have anything to do with not wanting to move into place? I'm confused with that one. Is, is this just I hate Chicago, the top 10 list, but let's let's go. If you move to Chicago, you'll immediately get drawn into the sports culture here. The Cubs are an easy team to love, or the White Sox, I suppose. The Bulls haven't been good since Mike left. Hockey's a big deal here, and the Blackhawks aren't that bad. The Bears. The Bears. And of course, the Bears, which define the mood for the entire state each fall. And every year they disappoint right around the holidays, and then Chicagoans look outside and realize they have three months of depression ahead of them until baseball season starts again. And then it starts all over. But without sports, there really isn't anything that brings this town together anymore. And more and more lately, the sport. What about all the different places, the downtown area, the culture that we have, the theater district? Like, we actually have theater in Chicago that can rival places like Broadway. We have the Steppenwolf Theater. We have the Chicago Theater, as he said. We have several different places around here where you can actually get shows. But dumb fucks like this, of course, uncultured MAGA motherfuckers, just hate Chicago because Donald Trump told them to. But let's go. Sports downs are a lot longer than the ups. Chicago used to have good sports teams, but now it's kind of a used to city now. It used to have the world's tallest building. It used to have the world's busiest airport. Wait, did they, wait. He acts as if Chicago is like, oh, we gonna fucking tear the one fucking city. We gonna tear the motherfucking Sears Tower down. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this man? He acts as if, oh no, fuck Sears Tower. We gonna tear the shit down because reasons. But let's go. It used to be a great place to raise a family. If you lived in Chicago, admit it. You wish you lived in a warmer place like LA or in a less populated place, even Milwaukee. Is that's what it is. He's from Milwaukee. Hey, let's let's look right now. That's what it is. Nick Johnson YouTube. Um Oh my god. Like, okay, this is how you know that this motherfucker is a right winger. Check this shit out. This is the title of one of his video. I spin the top 10 gayest states in America. Wow. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Wow. That. Wow. Let's look up his fan tube, his YouTube fan tube. Um, Nick Johnson is a, and we're just looking this shit up for right now. 
um, is an American YouTuber and editor of Homesnacks.com. He is known for his ranking about cities, co um, countries, and the states of the U.S. He joined YouTube in 2007 and uploaded his first video in 15, which is over eight years after the creation of his channel. Um, does it say where, like where he lives? Of course it doesn't. Um, um, not seeing where he did, um, not seeing if we get the city that he's from, because this sure is a shining city, sitting on the hill. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, he doesn't say. Let's see. No, that that's not. That's a truly flattering picture. That's a truly fat flattering picture. It, I don't see this shit. Let's see. Hmm. So he's from Cleveland. Wait, he's from Cleveland? This motherfucker is from Cleveland. No, there must be another one. This motherfucker is from Cleveland. He's from Cleveland. I. He talks about Chicago, but he, this motherfucker's from Cleveland. And I know some decent people are in Cleveland, don't get me wrong, but this motherfucker's from Cleveland. Yeah, sure. You're likely overtaxed, overburdened, stressed, and sick of shoveling snow. And if you're thinking about moving to Chicago, well, what for? There are many, many, many other places in the country where you can land a good job and be around people who are happier, warmer, and safer. It'll be gone in November, it'll be gone in November. The sun and warm will be gone in November. It'll be gone in November, it'll be gone in November. Dude, you can't sing. So, yeah. That was a thing we just watched. And, um, I don't know what else to say. He, he, he has it where he thinks that, um, Chicago is just like hate shit. I... I I can't I can't with motherfuckers like that. You know why? Because um, one he's a fucking conservative that he's just doing the shit out of. I just hate Chicago because you know black people and you know Barack Obama and um yeah like the fuck. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be cutting this segment up. Do the whole like, so share, and subscribe shit. Um, if you're watching it now live on Twitch, um, keep in mind I have the, you, you know, if you want to give the free Jeff Bezos bucks with Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime, um, I would be happy for the support. And, um, yeah, all that other good shit. Wow, that, that was a thing. So we're going to cut this video segment here. If I gave myself the power